Okay, so let the function be given by f of x equals ln three minus x. We want the third degree Taylor polynomial um, around uh, x equals two. So I always write out the general form for this. I just find that's easier to stay organized. Um, so this is gonna be centered around two. So we're gonna have f of two over zero factorial x minus two to the nothing. And then the first derivative at two over one factorial x minus two to the first. Gosh, and I hope I can fit this in here. What do I have to go up to? Three, All right? Second derivative at two over two factorial x minus two squared. And then the third derivative at two over three factorial, ah, almost x minus two cubed. Okay, I really made that fit there. I should have written smaller in the beginning, but these are really long. All right, so we're gonna need the first derivative, the second derivative, and the third derivative. So let me like find those off to the side here. You know, and I'll just, I'll work it out down here. All right, so first derivative, um, it's gonna be one over three minus x. And then chain rule, we're gonna have to multiply on the derivative of three minus x, which is gonna be negative one. All right, so this is negative one, three minus x to the negative first. And I'm just writing it out that way because I'm gonna to have to get the next derivative. All right, so multiplying this down, that's gonna be a positive one. And then we'll have three minus x to the negative second. And then chain rule, we're gonna to have to multiply on a negative one. So that's gonna be negative. Um, so that'll be negative one over three minus x squared. And then third derivative, this is the last one I'm gonna to have to find. Um, bring down the negative two, that's gonna be a positive two, three minus x to the negative third. And then again, chaining on the derivative of the inside is gonna make this negative. Um, derivative of negative x is negative one. This will be negative two over three minus x cubed. All right, so I have my first derivative, second derivative, third derivative. My original function is right here. And so I'm ready to go ahead and evaluate all of these. So f of two, if you plug in two, um, you get ln of one, which is zero. So this entire first term goes to zero. So that's gonna just be gone. All right, uh, first derivative at two. So here's my first derivative. If I plug in two, um, I'm gonna have negative one over one, which is just negative one. So this part is negative one. One factorial is just one. So that whole thing is just gonna be negative one um, x minus two to the first. All right, and then second derivative at two. So I'm gonna plug two in here. That is gonna give me negative one for this uh, over two factorial, which is two. So negative a half x minus two squared. All right, and then the last one, we're gonna plug in two to the third derivative, um, which denominator is just gonna be one cubed, which is one. So that's negative two for this part over three factorial. That would be three times two times one, which is six. So we've got negative two over six. So negative one third X minus two cubed. Um, and so now I have to figure out which one of those this matches with, which these all look, close to each other, let me see which one this is gonna be. Um, I think that is this one right here. Actually, are A and B the exact same? Oh, no, that's a really subtle difference. They have a plus here instead of a minus. Oh my gosh, those are practically the exact same answer except for that, that symbol there. Uh, this one is gonna be B. Oh my gosh, that is so tricky. It's almost identical. All right, be really careful. All right, number two, uh, which is the best, or which is the best of the following polynomial approximations to cosine of two x uh, near zero? So the best one is gonna be with the highest power. So it looks like the highest they went here is squared. So I'm gonna get the uh, second degree polynomial. So it's gonna be, uh, and this was centered around uh, zero. So f of zero over zero factorial x to the nothing. First derivative at zero over one factorial x to the first. And then second derivative at zero over two factorial x to the second. Um, so I know it's gonna be one of these three. I can get rid of those. Again, the, the higher the power, 
um, the better the approximation. So that since the highest they went is squared, I'm gonna do a second degree polynomial. So I'm gonna need my derivatives. I'm gonna do that like down here again. First derivative, all right, derivative of cosine is negative sine, and then I'm gonna need to chain on a two. So this is gonna be negative two sine of two x. And then second derivative, derivative of sine is cosine, and I'm gonna have to chain on another two. So if I multiply a two on here, it's gonna be negative four cosine of two x. All right, so now I'm ready to evaluate all of these. So f of zero, um, here's my original function. If you plug in zero, cosine of zero is one. So this is gonna be one. Zero factorial is one, and anything to the zero power is one. So this entire first term is just gonna be one. All right, uh, first derivative at zero. Sine of zero is zero. So this entire term is just gonna be gone. So that one uh, is, you could put plus zero if you want, but that's gonna just go away there. All right, and then this one's second derivative at zero. Again, cosine of zero is one times four would be negative four. So this part is negative four um, divided by two factorial is two. So negative four divided by two would be negative two and then x squared. So one minus two x squared. And so that one is D. All right, so number three, uh, we want a third degree Taylor polynomial uh, around zero. I don't understand why they say Taylor polynomial around zero, like just say Maclaurin, it means it's centered around zero. All right, um, and here's the function. So third degree. All right, um, sorry, thanks for bearing with me. I have to write that out or I get confused with what I'm doing. I have to stay organized. Um, so I'm gonna need uh, to go out to the third derivative here. So again, I'm gonna work out all these derivatives kind of off to the side. So ln of one over x, that's gonna be one over one minus, or one minus x, excuse me. And then uh, chain on a negative one. So this is actually really similar to the first question that we did, this would be negative one, one minus x to the negative one. So second derivative, we're gonna multiply that down, it'll be positive one, one minus x to the negative second, and then you're gonna chain on the derivative of the inside part, which is gonna make that negative. So negative one over one minus x squared. And then third derivative, we're gonna bring down the negative two, negatives are gonna cancel, so that'll be positive two, one minus x to the negative three. And again, chain rule here is gonna make that negative. So negative two over one minus x cubed. So those are all the derivatives that we're gonna need. And then we can go ahead and evaluate all of these. So f of zero, here's our original function. If you plug in zero, you get ln of one, which is zero. So again, that entire first term is gonna be gone. First derivative at zero. Um, so we're gonna plug in zero right here for x, first derivative. That's gonna be negative one over one. So this numerator will be negative one. One factorial is just one. So this is negative one x. All right, now the second derivative at zero, if we plug in zero right here for the second derivative, um, we get negative one over one, which is just negative one over two factorial, which is two. So minus a half x squared. And then last one, we wanna plug in zero to the third derivative. That's gonna be negative two over one, which is just be negative two for this. Um, three factorial is six. So negative two over six will be negative one third and then x cubed. All right, so let me see if I can match up which one this is. So negative x minus one half x cubed minus one third x cubed. So that one is E. Oh wait, did I pick the right one? Did that match? I'm looking over at my notes and I had something else, hold on. Oh my gosh, you know, look, I see I picked the wrong one. 
oh my gosh, be so careful. I did all the math correct and I still picked the wrong one. This should be negative here, not positive. Negative x minus one. Okay, sorry, it's a. Oh my goodness, be really careful out there, guys. <laughs> do all the math correct and then two of the answers look almost the Do you guys see that? This is negative and this is positive. That's the only difference between them. Rude, so rude that they make the questions like that. Oh, pure evil. All right. Uh, I can't change it. That's what we're up against. I didn't make up this problem. <laughs> okay, so don't, don't shoot the messenger. A for that one. I'm so sorry. All right. Uh, number four, let P of X be all of this. Uh, that's the fifth degree Taylor polynomial to the function uh, around zero. What is the value of, and look at the little tick mark there, uh, third derivative at zero? So um, I always write out like this whole thing. I'm going to just do the one for the third derivative, and I'll put the three tick marks since that's how they wrote it. Um, so three, uh, third derivative at zero over three factorial um, x to the third. So that's going to be the coefficient for the x to the third term. And so here is our x to the third term. So you don't really need to write the, the x to the third parts of it if you don't want to, just set the coefficients equal to each other. So we have the third derivative at zero over three factorial, which is six equals negative five. Again, the reason I pulled out that negative five is because it's the coefficient with the x to the third term. And then we're just gonna multiply that six over. So negative 30. And so that one is A. It's an easier answer to pick anyway. I have to look through each and every term individually. All right, and then last one. Uh, let f be a function with, oh gosh, they, they spam you with information here. Uh, I'll write it all a little bit bigger off to the side here. F of three is two. F prime of three is negative one. Uh, second derivative, it, it's good to do all these values at three. Second derivative at three is six, and third derivative at three is 12. Um, again, it's really tiny on here, but when you open this, you know, on the computer, you can change the zoom to like 300%, and then you can see it a little bit better. So they give you all these derivative values, which is kind of cool because then you don't have to um, do all of like this work. They just handed you all those values, which is kind of nice. All right, so all that's true. Which of the following is the third degree Taylor polynomial for f about three? All right, um, I'm sorry, I'm gonna write out the whole thing. <laughs> like, why does she keep doing this? Because I, I have to. All right, um, so this is gonna be around three. All right, that didn't take that long. It was only to the third power, all right? So um, we're gonna use all of these values that they gave us. It said f of three is two, zero factorial is just one. So we've got two over one, um, and then everything to the zero power is just one. So this entire first term is gonna be two. All right, first derivative at three is negative one. Also, oh, I wrote a plus sign there, but that should be minus, all right? So that is negative one over one, so negative one uh, x minus three to the first. All right, second derivative at three, they said is six. And we want that to be over two factorial, which is two. So six divided by two is three, x minus three squared. And then last one, third derivative at three is 12. So this part is 12, three factorial is six. So 12 divided by six would be two and then x minus three cubed. All right, so let me see if I can match this one up without picking the wrong answer here. Uh, a two minus x minus three plus three, x minus three, yeah, okay, a for that one. 